hello guys welcome back so in this video we are going to continue our video series of uh, multi database setup where we are using stencil tenancy package right uh, to create our multi database setup so uh, in the last video I have already uh, discussed about how we can set up the stencil tenancy right what is multi tenancy how we are going to work on that part so if you have not watched this video i'll put the link in the description right and so uh, what we are going to do in this video is we are going to uh, configure the things from our filament right so if you remember in the last video what we did is we created the tenant from our tinker so now we will create a panels we will install uh, tenancy sorry we will install filament and then we will install panels so we will have let's say two panels right we will have one panel for admin that is for central domain and we will have the app panel which is for its tenant its tenant right so besides that uh, just remember that every tenant will have their own database so let's start so I think I need to start from installing the filament okay so let me quickly install that so let's first install the package then let's install panels okay so okay i am just creating the admin panel that's it right so let us create a user i think i already have a user as per our last right so if i go here now yeah here is my central domain so that we configured in the last video and here i am already because i already have the test user right so this is what we already have so now first of all uh, before starting the things what I want to tell you is there is a small thing you need to change for I uh, current Laravel versions so uh, before uh, we used to change directly on route service provider right since uh, current Laravel version does not have this file so what you need to do is we need to loop through each central domains for I am talking about the central domains routes right since we will have the config file here so you will adjust your central domains here you will add all your central domains mainly we will have just uh, two maybe one for local and maybe one for server right so we'll just add here so for now if you check here my central domain is this multi tenant app dot test so I have added here so and we'll loop through each of them and then we'll just group through domain and then we'll just add the route so that it can be it can it will work for each of the our central domains perfect so okay let's start so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to create a uh, tenant resource quickly so mm, filament resource tenant right here is it it is let me refresh yeah we get it so i also already have the tenants as we created on the oh sorry last video so it's already adding us so i everything is continuing continuous from the last video series so remember that so let me just uh first of all let me just add the columns let's say column id right and then let's say column name let me refresh this yeah here we have laptop latest tenant laptop or anything right okay and in the form what we'll do is we just need i think uh, name of the tenant right required let's say so now if i go to try to okay before that i think i need to just delete all this it will be easier 
and let me just uh, run my queue servers okay it's mm, it will not working maybe mm, let me open my my admin okay it's okay it has deleted all the related database i think okay this is my tenants right so let me quickly um go to localhost databases and uh, there are these two things let me just drop this table before starting okay perfect so now so now if i go here okay let's try to create a new tenant okay so let me name it tenant create okay back so it's created if i go here yeah tenant is created and if you see here with the same id the table is also created so and users is the table i have also shown you this part in the last video let us quickly revise this so if you go here in the side the database migration here is the tenant so all the tables all the database tables migration files that we added inside the tenant will be automatically migrated when we are creating a new tenant so and then what about the name so naming concept is here here is our prefix for the database name so currently i have used multi-tenant and so i don't have used any suffix so it's showing as multi-tenant then the id is by default prefix we can add suffix we can add and the middle one is always the id of that tenant right if you see a to ef a to ef it's the id perfect and if you want to show any other things like here you can always utilize this data and you can show here if for example if i want to show okay let's remove for that let's not waste this time because i have already explored this part so let us quickly add the part for domain right so it will be obviously from the relation right so i will just create a filament relation quickly make filament uh, relation manager domains uh, i think what what the things oh make filament oh i mistake misspelled filament fila m e n t right yeah uh, resource is a uh, tenant relation is domains right title let's say name okay it should be domain okay leave it so let me just type first of all import here let's say tenant resource yeah we have domain so domains relation manager so I am quickly uh, working on this, so, right? Because I have already discussed these things already, right? Yeah, here is this. If I go to domains relation, it should be I think not named domain because domain is our name there, and it should be also domain. Refresh. Now, if I create the domain, let's say tenant tenant dot uh, multi tenant app dot test that's it right and if i go and open this yeah here is that my id so this is what we have done up to now right so now let's add a panel for this part quickly okay <coughs> because this is the things that we have done in the last video using tinker so let us move further make filament panel let's say app panel right yeah and you should have login if i go to try to go to app yeah it is giving me login but before that i think i need to have at least a user here yeah i don't have any users so for now let me just copy the password from tester the test.com and let me try here users and try to let me insert it okay tenant user uh tenant the test.com and password is this right okay uh test the red and let me just replace this with tenant oh okay okay it's saying this credential do not match our records the reason for this is currently this is not working on the basis of tenancy 
so now for that we need to use two middle wires to cover that part right because if i will try to log in with the tester the red tested come which is my central login right if i will do it will work but if i will try to log in with my uh, tenant at the red test.com it will not work the reason is we need to add some middlewares in our app panel provider right i'll just add a new middleware you can just uh, add there or i'll just add here so the first one is um, identify oh i just forgot the name of the middlewares let me just go to app service provider sorry not tenant service or let's say tenant.php there are this yeah yeah initialize tenancy by domain initialize tenancy by uh, initialize tenancy sorry by domain is to class right so this will uh, initialize the tenancy by domain if you see here it will initialize the on the basis of that domain so it means it will initialize or it means it will now ac get access through that domain for now right so next parameter is for the its persistent we are going to pass the true value okay so let me try okay now if you see there is at least some changes right so now for this uh, for the raw con assets so here if you see there is a asset setting yeah here uh, by default asset calls are made multi-tenant too because assets calls are made multi-tenant too so we don't need that because the assets is for all the same thing so i'm just doing it false yeah we are back and let me try now tenant at the rate sorry let me just test.com and test and if I try to log in, yes, that's it. This is now. If you see, I am just logging on the both users, but with uh, sorry, both panels with different user, right? Tenant user. So if I will try to log in with my central domain, let's say test at the red test dot com. No, it's not giving us because it's protecting us from being access, right? So if I try to log in here, then with my tenant at the red test.com what will be yeah so see uh it's not working here too that's it so that's all for this video so let's revise at once so what we have done is that mm, okay let me just log in with test oh test at the red test.com So uh, I think yeah, that's all for this video. So uh, in uh, we are going to explore many things uh, on this video series, right? So, but uh, so I think in the next video, what we are going to do is we'll just add a user from here, right? Like manage tenant users, right? Meaning that we can we will list all the users of that tenant right or we can create the new user from this admin panel and for now we'll just work on the user parts but if we want we can also explore the different parts like uh, managing tenant setting from here right or managing tenants rules and permission from here from the single uh, from the main admin panel obviously it will be inside the our tenant panel obviously right so thank you guys for watching this video